Hello, this is Oko Valdezor, and welcome to Valdezor Strategic Arcana. So this might continue the multiplayer match versus Dubin with uh, the Total Realism Project mod for Strategic Command World War II War in Europe. I am the Allies, he is the Axis Powers. Uh, this is episode 5. So we're in autumn of 1939. Poland has just been vanquished. The phony war has started. I don't know how long that's going to be. Kind of doing some U-boat hunting. <clears throat> we had a U-boat that we almost, or uh, U-boats off Canada. Well, I'm saying plurals because one of those counters is not one sub. <laughs> I'm not sure how many would be. Six, ten. I talked to Elzar about this when I worked on his, or helped test his War in the Pacific mod. He had, had the numbers. If he watches this, let me know. Of course, that's on a little bit different scale. But it, none of these counters is one one ship. If you had every ship on here, it would be unplayable. <laughs> Wrong scale. Uh, the Herog had a task force mod that's pretty good too, where it combined a lot of the ships together. And uh, I've tried that a couple times. It was pretty cool in, in tests and stuff. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a lot of juicy convoy routes for a for a U-boat captain to uh, well to uh, sample. <laughs> Let's just see. Mm, it's a movement pulling. I guess have a minimum of four land units. Four in Europe. Or Uncle Joe will get interested. <clears throat> I think a lot of this is the movement. Yeah, all quiet, phony war, silence. I said last episode I was going to go look at German plunder, and I, I think I, I didn't do that. All right. Prime Minister Edward de Ladier. The French, oh, this one. This is another one. The French Communist Party has denounced war as an imperialist conflict, and their deputies have called for us to make peace with Hitler. If we aren't careful, then communist influence in the army will grow. This will lead to disaffection and disruptions which would reduce the efficiency of our armed forces. It is therefore recommended that we act decisively to ban the party and arrest its militants. If we do so, we will prevent disaffection in the army and our national morale will increase by a thousand points. The USSR would see this as a hostile move and could be expected to swing 3-5% to 5 away from us. <clears throat> Would you like to ban the French Communist Party and detain its militants? Not really, uh, because, let's see, the Soviet net, uh, mobilization is at 17%. A 3 to 5% would really drive them over into the non-aggression pack. Let's see, the French Communist Party was significantly weakened by the signing of the Molotov Ribbon, Ribbon Trap Pact in August 1939, as many militants struggle to understand why the USSR aligned itself with Germany. Me being a leftist, in real life, I struggled with that too. <clears throat> but then again, we're dealing with Joseph Stalin. <laughs> uh, taking advantage of the situation, the French government decided to act de decisively in banning the Communist Party to prevent the spread of subversive anti-war propaganda. Um, okay, so the French were at 90%. When I last looked. <clears throat> well, I am going to, I am going to ban it because I already, I am, I do want to see if I want the French to last a little longer. How much longer this is going to help? I don't know. The SR views the ban of the French Communist Party as a hostile move. Give me a finger, Joe. We went down to 14%. Oh my God. <clears throat> All right. Red Army Headquarters, in order to decrease Leningrad's vulnerability to attack from the north and to weaken the Finnish Army, it is suggested that we force Finland to hand over some territory to us. We can demand the Karelian Isthmus, the area north of Leningrad, and the port of Hanko to the west of Helsinki. Would you like to force Finland? Well, yes. Because <laughs> eventually this is all going to, we're going to get our uh, old Uncle Joe, he's going to get stabbed in the back by his 
buddy Herr Hitler. Okay, <clears throat> let's go look. They're down to 10%. Oh. What did we gain? 4%. Guys, gas. <clears throat> we banned the Communist Party. I think I may shouldn't have did that. <clears throat> Historically, it did. Crimes. All right. I want to look at Germany. I want to see their plunder because they did have a big chunk of money. Oh, whoa. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a hell of a chunk. Well, since we're here. Wow. As opposed to, let's say, Britain. Yeah. This is rough. All right. <clears throat> well. Let's get these boys up up to, I got the Colonials down here. I got one I can move. Let's see, let's go look at uh, the British research before we move. Just jump right on in. So I got, what, 242? <clears throat> we want to get this going. We want to get this going. So let's do this. That leaves 17. That's fine. We've already done what we got to do. Okay, let's go ahead. I don't think there's going to be any subs here. Well, let's go ahead and bring this down. Well, we're going to take a chance he's not here, so let's go bring this up to convoy line. And let's bring these guys up. Let's go clear this. Then we're going to do this. I, I highly doubt he's up here, but I want to make sure. I don't want to lose anything. Okay. Yeah, we don't really got a lot of assets out here, do we? <clears throat> okay. Are you down here? I doubt it. Well, this is telling though, this tells me that, um, yeah, I was going to do that, sure, but we got to get that research going. Let's go get, let's go give it a try here, <clears throat> see how far we can go. <clears throat> oh. Well, we can get in port. We're going to go somehow, no one off. Gambia, which is British. <clears throat> yeah, let's duck here. All right, it covers the approaches, <clears throat> but I haven't seen any indication. Just got here. Where's the one off? Oh, Ifni. Okay. Oh. I want to hunt subs. I'm going to take a chance, but let's bring something down. <clears throat> Damn, my backside's not clear, is it? Well, if we discovered a submarine. Oops. 
We could duck in a French port, but we can duck here. We can't. Let's duck in a French port. snooping hmm. oh, he's up there let's go look All right, we got enough to put a plane on, yeah. <clears throat> oh, both. Okay, right on. Okay, we're ready. Two MPP left for the British. Okay, let's go with sub hunting. So, I wonder if you're going to come down here. There's a lot of convoy lines. This would be peevish if you got down in here. <laughs> and Italy's a cooperating ally, and there's a couple ports. Uh, though it'd be a lost cause for the U boats. I don't know if they'd ever get back alive. But here, here, of course. Um, but in proximity, you're getting back to France, and I don't know. Well, Let's close that. You, I tell you what, <clears throat> can we get down to one of our ports? Yes, we can. That's Guadalupe, it's French, but let's do that. Okay. And we were heading down to I wanna I wanna fix you. Let's get you to Bermuda. Oh no. Let's get you down there. Let's get you back into Halifax and I'll get you boosted again. Yeah, Halifax. Could be anywhere out here. Let's get on down. This group we all want to keep together. Let's go look at f uh, this. <clears throat> I got a supply of six, so let's get you back. Supply nine. Yeah, the other two. Okay. Supply nine, twelve. We're not using even on Raider. Yeah, we're max maxing out supply of eight. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're broken. Supply six, we just brought you in. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Let's see here. Okay. Supply of eight, right. Let's just back in. <clears throat> Supply 12, 11, 11, okay. Let's put you on 
you'll see an indication of that. That's fine. So we got to repair you next because you're just sitting there and stir. We're going to bring the strategic bomber down. And 17. So again, I like to bomb Munich, but we got to see what he's got, and we'll deal with the French. See if he's moved in. Oh. There we go. we got it's rain it reduced us oh by oh shoot we might have missed made a mistake here seven one one two three four five six oh we sure did will he see me yes he will one two three four five. he's gonna he's gonna bomb us Oh my. <clears throat> okay. With the French. Let's take you, detach you, attach you, detach you, attach you. We got to move this stuff, I think, anyway. Let's go look here. We want in the woods. Okay, that's woods. We want in Nancy. We want it here. We got too close. <clears throat> he will bomb. I bet you. I would. Okay. So we ain't buying anything. No, let's just reinforce. Okay, let's bring the strap bomber down. We do want, we're gonna want a bomb next turn if he doesn't have fire. Salzburg, let's see, in 17. <laughs> uh, let's get you boys in. We haven't moved you yet. So we are going to want to cover these approaches. That's a motorized, though. Let's get you in here. And we'll start moving stuff. Uh, we're going to want to repair you. Okay. We got seven, so we, we can't put any of our colonials on transports right now. You stay then. Okay, Russians, 123, so we're just short. That really bites, because we're gonna research. Uh, infantry warfare. But the money's gonna be tight, man. Cause so let's move, uh, get you, oh uh, yeah. You can get, be based here. You're gonna be based here next door. Okay, so we're done there. Let's see, any other Russian. Yeah, the slow slog. Slow slog. Uh, let's get in tag and rug. I'll probably adjust all this stuff, I, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how things are. Who is this anyway? Well, Tim Lushenko. Okay. building till November 12th so it's a couple more turns all right I think you're at a port ready to go you're good we're all good here um, well we'll get to see what happens yeah all right we're good here yeah because I'm bringing the other colonials here and then I got one in Guyana I'll bring out uh, over in uh, South America when I got the money all right. Anyway, that's it. So, boy, the events are eventful, but there's not much of it. The U.S. for transfers former Polish territory around Vilna 
to Lithuania really you know so the Lithuanians get to get to enjoy the the fruits of uh, the Soviets and Nazis labor don't you guys know that if they partition Poland you guys are next yeah they don't but <laughs> so scientists report progress and logistic development for the Britain that's that's great okay let's see what how bad this is gonna be the USSR Ugh, that's awful but well we did it for France now it might only gain me an extra turn maybe I don't know Oh, uh, well, I did it. I don't know how far down they would have gone. It could have been 4%, uh, which would have some. I, 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 it could have been worse. Anyway, well, this is Old Crow Wealth. Is there... See you on the virtual battlefields. And yeah, check out uh, Dugan's channel. Go to Axis Point of View and all the skullduggery he's got going. All right, we'll see you later. I am gone.